going to be Casey the Science Gal. So today, I am going to test our Zen Habitats enclosures for a bunch of different things to test the quality, strength, etc. I'm also going to be debunking some of the common myths that we've heard um, about our enclosures. So let's see how these enclosures hold up. <laughs> if you like the way I look in a lab coat, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell because I want to do more fun projects like this. <laughs> For our first experiment, we are going to test how much weight our screen and support bars can support. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Most reptile keepers typically have other pets, so we have a couple special guests to help us with this first test. So for our first test, I have a special friend named Pizza, so let's see if our screens can support the weight of a cat. All right. Yeah, I think it works. <laughs> you want to go in there? That's a nice cat. <laughs> That's nice. Yay! Ooh! Comfy. For my next guest, he might look a little familiar. It is Nash the Zen Pop. So let's see. We're going to pop him on his bed on top of the screen. You can see that there's nothing on here. So let's see how this goes. Oh boy. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it holds. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay, so we tried the weight test with our fuzzy friends. Now let's try it with some real weights. We do not recommend this, but we're going to try it with some 25 pound plates. <laughs> so, already at 50 pounds, we're doing pretty good. Okay, so we just threw 100 pounds on here and obviously it can hold <laughs> even the fattest kitty cat, but it can also hold any equipment that you're planning on putting on here. There's no way that you'd go over 100 pounds with lighting. All right, so for our next test, we are going to test the weight that can be supported from our support bars. So in our last test, we put weight on top of the screen to see how it would hold. Now we're gonna put weight directly hanging from these support bars, so let's see what happens. I have these two sandbags. Each one weighs about 12 and a half pounds, so let's see what happens. Here we go. One, okay, all right. So we now have 25 pounds hanging directly from our support bars. So we put 12 and a half pound sandbags on our left support bar and our right support bar. So now let's combine that weight on the middle support bar and see if it can hold the 25 pounds together. Okay, so I have 25 pounds hanging from our center support bar. This is not something that we would necessarily recommend as your lighting will not weigh that much, but as you can see, it is still pretty sturdy. Our meridian enclosures are super duper sturdy and they're only held together by eight really durable screws. And I think that's quite amazing that this whole enclosure is only put together by eight screws. The inside is also threaded with metal so it gives that really good contact so it stays nice together. We don't have to worry about the plastic stripping if it was um, threaded with plastic, but since it's threaded with metal, it's got a nice grip to it. So I tightened that up. We're pretty sturdy. like. It is together, and it's, like I said, just eight screws. Okay, so we did a couple of weight tests. Now I wanna do some water tests. So this is gonna be a little bit different. We have been asked whether or not our enclosures are watertight, and unfortunately, the Zen Habitat enclosure is not watertight, but we do have this awesome product called the Bio Basin that gets taped into the bottom of the enclosure, which can prevent leakage. Using the Bio Basin will help prevent any water seeping through the bottom of your enclosure. So let's dump the water in. Let's see what happens. water into our enclosure. We're gonna let it sit overnight to see if it leaks at all. The other thing that I wanna do while we have water in this enclosure is to put my doors on so that you can see how easily they slide. We'll check to see if the water sloshes around at all. 
I'm doing this test to show you that there's minimal vibration when you slide open the doors, which will also prevent any stress from your animals feeling that vibration as you slide open and close the doors. So as you can see, nice and smooth, barely any movement at all. So since I have the water in to test my bio basin, I'm just gonna make a little line down here so I know where my water level is. And we'll check it in the morning and see what happens. Okay, so it's been 24 hours for this test as well. And as you can see, we have not lost any water. The bio basin can hold water. We don't recommend that you put standing water in the bottom of your Zen Habitat enclosure, but it can definitely hold on to your moist substrate that's holding on to all that humidity that your reptiles need. The next test is our moisture test. And in this test, we are comparing the materials from our products to some other commonly used reptile enclosure materials. To start, the ones that I am going to be dumping into the water and measuring are the PVC Zen material, the bamboo laminated MDF that is also a Zen material, we have some melamine, and then some plywood. The tool that I'm going to be using for this test is a digital caliper. So what I'll do is I will take my material and I'm going to take measurements of the width of it and then I'm going to measure it multiple times um, after it's been in the water to see how much they swell. Okay, I find it difficult sometimes to imagine measurements in my head, so we made this little scale. All of the measurements that I'm taking right now are going to be in millimeters, but just so you can kind of follow along and understand, because I have a hard time, an inch is about the size of a U.S. quarter, a centimeter is about the size of half a U.S. penny, and one millimeter is about the tip of a lead pencil. Our first material is the Zen PVC, and we're measuring at about 6.3 millimeters. And into the water it goes. Our next material is our bamboo laminated MDF. This is also a Zen material that we use on our wood enclosures. 5.8, and we'll do it in a couple spots just to make sure it's accurate. Into the water it goes. Next, we have our melamine. So this is definitely a very common material. 16 even. Last material is just regular old plywood. This is definitely something that DIYers are frequently using. 7.8. I will repeat my measurements in 24 hours, 72 hours, and 120 hours. We just put these in a couple minutes ago, and already I can see that the plywood is swelling so much. So what I'm gonna do, because I think I'm gonna lose a bit of my water level, is just make a little line too, just so we can kind of see how much water we lose overnight. Okay, it's been 24 hours that I've let these materials soak in this water. This is our Zen PVC, still 6.3. We have the bamboo laminated MDF. We're actually at 6.3. Measure our melamine. All bubbled up is actually 16.2 now. Other side, whew, 20.9 millimeters, so it has sucked up a lot of water. Now last, our plywood. My dry side is 8.3. Our wet side is 9.2, so it has swelled quite a bit as well. Okay, so we've had these boards in here now for 72 hours. Our Zen PVC, so yep, still at 6.3. The next material, the Zen Bamboo Laminated MDF, still 5.8. Our wet side, 6.6. .6. We have our melamine. Our dry side is actually expanded up to 16.4. Our wet side, 20.9. Our last material is our plywood. Our wet side actually shrunk from what it was at 24 hours. So it must have be, I guess it's distributing differently now, but we're at 8.7 where we were at 9.2. You can tell that it's totally warped. Okay, so it has been 120 hours since we started this little test. And I don't know if you can see the nastiness that's happening in the water. Oh, gross. Start with our PVC Zen material. Guess at 6.5. We started at 6.3. Our wet end has actually expanded to 6.5. So I still, it's a, about a 0.2 millimeter difference. Our bamboo laminated MDF. Our dry side is at 
one saturated side has grown to 7.3 next we have our melamine it's so bubbly and this veneer is completely off it's like oh my god it's like legit paper that's just like peeling right off of it our saturated side is at a whopping 21.6 Okay, and then our last material is our plywood. The moisture has come up almost all the way to the top. Our dry side is now at 8.5. Our saturated side is coming in at 9.6. Okay, so what did we learn from testing this in water? All materials will absorb some bit of water. Now, because Zen habitats are made for these specific animals and not aquatics, there really shouldn't be a reason that you have standing water in the bottom of your enclosure. Okay, so let's recap. Our first material was the Zen Habitat PVC material, which is um, rated for up to 100% humidity. Um, we did get a tiny bit of swelling at point two millimeters so that is just a tiny tiny amount and really shouldn't affect the integrity or the structure of your zen habitat enclosure bamboo laminated mdf which is also a zen habitat material so this comes with our wood enclosures and we recommend that you do not keep anything that needs humidity over 50 percent so this particular material swelled um one and a half millimeters which is it's pretty substantial you shouldn't be exposing this to that much water for it to swell in that sense. Now, the two materials that are not zen is um, melamine, and it started at, like I said, 16 millimeters, and we ended at 21.6, so that is a growth of 5.6 millimeters. That is huge. And so this, the integrity of this is completely gone. It's shot like this. I would not recommend housing an animal. Like, I'm looking at the oils and stuff coming out of it. It's really disgusting. Our last is just straight up plywood, and this is kind of assumed that this probably wouldn't hold up to water because plywood just doesn't hold up to water. We started at 7.8 millimeters and we ended at 1.8 millimeter growth. Not a good product to use for building reptile enclosures. Like, as we've talked about, it's totally warped, it's totally expanded, it's all slimy now, so it's leaching out all of the chemicals that are in it. Um, so yeah, not a, not a top reptile enclosure material. <laughs> So we had a bunch of fun tests on our Zen Habitat enclosure and materials. So we tested how much weight can be supported on top of a Zen Habitat enclosure featuring Pizza and Nash. We also tested how much weight can be hung from the support bars. I also showed you the super high quality of our Zen Habitat's Meridian screws. We tested our bio basins for water tightness and we tested four different materials, two Zen materials and two DIY materials and how well they can hold up to humidity. And I hope that I also solidified your choice in choosing your reptile's new permanent home. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. Do you want to see me in a lab coat again? I can do more experiments. This is fun, and I would be honored to bring you more. Thanks so much for watching! <laughs>